Hello my friends, I'm Russ Larson and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today, I'm excited to show you guys my approach to training and my new website, richlarson511.com. This is something I've been working on over the years and I believe this is just the beginning. So over the years, I've done private lessons, clinics, made hundreds of videos and taught thousands of students the intricacies of riding a motorcycle. After years of pursuing mastery on not only the enduro bike, but the trade of teaching. I've developed and honed a curriculum that in my opinion is one of the best ways to cover the fundamental and basic understanding of how to ride a motorcycle. This approach to teaching not only increases your complete understanding of how we efficiently ride, but in my experience is a simplified approach for your understanding of everything you need to be competent with when riding. The vast majority of riders are nowhere near proficient in their fundamental approach. In my experience, 99% of riders don't have everything on this list dialed. Most of these techniques can be done on flat ground or a minimal incline. I always say, if you can't completely control your machine on flat ground, how can you expect to control your machine when it matters, when you're in the real situations. Most riders survive when it matters, but I want you to thrive. That's why I developed this. This is the three pillars of riding a motorcycle. Essentially everything you'll ever do on a motorcycle can be broken down into three things. The approach I've created and the way I teach during the clinics and lessons is separately isolating and developing each of these three pillars, building your fundamental base. The stronger your foundation is, the quicker we can develop the skills and techniques everyone wants to learn. So what are the pillars? Again, this is essentially everything you do on a motorcycle. They're equal in importance. We have balance, body position, and power delivery and collection. Balance, body position, power delivery and collection. Think about riding. In every situation, we maintain balance, we adjust body position appropriately, and we deliver and collect the power of our machine. The beauty of this understanding is not only is this everything you do on a motorcycle, each pillar is connected to the next. The better you get at each pillar, the better you will be at each pillar. Using the various balance drills we have, the better you get at balance, the better you will be at body position because you have a higher understanding of the balanced centered position on the machine. You have a higher ability to move via your body position. Think it's hard to do anything other than correct your balance when you're out of balance. Better yet, appropriately move for an obstacle or correction on the machine via body position. The better you get at body position, the better you'll be at balance. Because you've maximized efficient movement on the machine, this maximizes your balance corrections. Not only at slow speed and left to right corrections, but at high speed for counteracting back and forth forces from acceleration and deceleration. The better you get at your power delivery and collection, the better you will be at your balance. Essentially, all I do in technical sections is deliver and collect my power to maintain my balance. The more efficient I get with the throttle and clutch control, the easier maintaining balance will be. I know I'm going on and on here and I could keep going, but you can see the better you are at each pillar, the better you will be at each pillar. We build the foundation of your riding through these techniques and drills. Now these drills are essentially examples and we can expand pretty heavily on each one of these. For example, these aren't the only balance drills. We could add on full lock balance, specific cone drills. The same can be said with body position. We can talk body position for obstacle approach, leading with the head, etc. Same for power delivery and collection, but most of the time that's where I get questions. What is collection? We're always delivering power and collecting power, especially in technical sections. Hitting an obstacle like a rock or a log is the best way for me to explain this. But this technique and understanding can be used in any style of riding. So delivering power to the ground is easy. Simply twist the throttle. The hard part is understanding how we maintain tractable control. 
How many of you have spun a tire on an obstacle? Well, this isn't a lack of power delivery. This is a lack of power collection. The best riders in the world have a complete understanding of how to collect their power quickly. They have the highest ability to deliver maximum power, then transition to minimum power after momentum is established. Simply put, the quicker this transition is, the better the rider. A great way to think of this is increasing the speed in which the RPMs descend. If you notice, as I approach an obstacle, I use a delivery of power to establish enough momentum to propel me up and over. I use the understanding of power collection to maintain traction over the top. If I don't collect, I spin the tire. This understanding is all based on using the momentum and spinning inertia of the machine's flywheel, piston, transmission, and even the spinning tire itself. We use this inertia to give us efficient traction. This is essentially loading the flywheel. To simplify this, I'm using the back end of my RPM to create traction. I'm always using a load of engine and reduction of power to create efficient traction. Even on something like a wheel Look at my throttle hand. I create power before the front end leaves the ground. Then I reduce the power as the clutch is released and the front end comes off the ground. This is all power delivery and collection. As I said earlier, this isn't only for technical terrain. In any situation, you deliver power to create momentum and movement. You collect power to maintain control of your machine. This could be as simple as accelerating and braking into a corner. As I said, the best riders can transition from maximum to minimum quickly. It doesn't matter the discipline of riding. Power delivery and collection are key. So these pillars are everything when it comes to riding. We can even plug in a specific technique here in the middle of the diagram, like a double blip, splatter, pivot turn, wheelie, then add specific balance, body position, and power delivery and collection drills related to the technique you want to learn. The possibilities here are endless, and I'm excited to show you guys an even deeper understanding and approach to your riding. Again, these techniques are connected in every way. Within that connection, we also have possible mistakes at the opposite end of each spectrum. Maybe our balance and power delivery are dialed, but we don't have the appropriate body position, so we lack in movement to counteract the forces. Maybe our body position and our balance are dialed, but we need to work on our power delivery and collection. Finally, maybe our power delivery and our body position are dialed, but we lack in balance. This is an all-encompassing approach to progression and a combination of years of not only obsessing on riding, but years of teaching others and fielding questions and adapting my program to suit each person, honing the curriculum to create the most well-rounded riders possible. Honestly, I'm proud of this idea because it came from my mind and I wanna share it with everyone because I know it works. I'm also thankful to have all the riders and trainers whose backs this stuff has been built off of. I'm not the first moto slash enduro trainer and I won't be the last. I mean, I remember watching a Jeff Matasevich technique video in the 90s, learning from Shane Watts Dirtwise, Destry Abbott's D8 trainings, other riders and trainers in the same field I'm in, and top riders I've had the privilege of riding with and being around. My point is, the pursuit of mastery never ends. I always say there is no such thing as mastery, only the pursuit of mastery. If you have a chance to take a class from anyone who has a different perspective, do it. You might learn something. And if you want to learn the Enduro Essentials Three Pillars Approach, get signed up for one of my classes around the US on richlarson511.com. If you're enjoying the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at IRCMoto and my personal Instagram page at richlarson511. And until next time, keep shredding.